Hello, everybody. Welcome to another coffee moments with the father. And、uh, we are going to be continuing on our series on prayer.、Uh, we've been looking at the images of God, and the image that I want to look at that God is a consuming fire. Let me read the theme passage for you in Deuteronomy chapter four, verse twenty-three to twenty-four. Be careful not to forget the covenant of the Lord your God that He made with you. Do not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything the Lord your God has forbidden. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire. A jealous God. It says that God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. And when you think about the idea of God being a consuming fire, we have that feeling of fear and respect. That fire is a dangerous thing. When I think about fire consuming something, I remember when I was living back in my hometown in the town of Malacca in Malaysia.、Uh, it's a small town,、uh, but a very popular town among tourists. And I remember one of the nights it was quite late in the night. The shops were closed. Everybody was asleep, and then all of a sudden we heard a big commotion. Outside of our house, I live in town. I live in a shop house, and then we hear all this siren going on. People, 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 and then we hear some explosion. Boom, boom. We were all started and awoke, and we ran outside to the of our shop house, our house, and we look, and there was a shop house. It was a blaze in fire. Of course, all of us hurried there to look at what what's going on. And I could see the firemen; they were busy trying to put out the fire.、Uh, the crowds of building, the the billows of smoke was dark and black, and and very soon the whole place was engulfed with fire. And the firemen was drastically, frantically. Putting out the fire with the with their water hoses, you know, and everybody over there was looking at this consuming fire, and we were all shocked. We were all concerned whether there was any inhabitants there,、uh, people still staying there that did not come out, and we were also afraid of what we saw, the consuming fire that blazed and engulfed the whole shop house. Of course, the next morning when we woke up and went back out to see, we only saw the burn and the char shop house. Everything was destroyed. And when you think about that, that you think about God being a consuming fire, sometimes we do get a wrong image of God. Our image of God, we think that God is a consuming fire and He's ready to. Consume me at any time, and yes, we do need to have a fear and respect for him. But sometimes our fear of res and respect for him comes out from our idea of the consuming fire consuming us. But you know what? God is not here to consume you. Yes, he is like the consuming fire, and he is worthy of respect and our fear for him, so that we can do what is right. But that was not his intention and his goal to consume you. So when you pray to God, you need to have that respect and that awe of God in looking in your own heart. And here is a second idea that is so incredible. As you pray, as you think about the image that God is a consuming fire. 
the second image that you can see is though God is a consuming fire, he actually, okay, I love this idea. He actually allow us to approach him and be close to him. And you think about Moses, right? The burning bush. It could have consumed Moses, but God allowed Moses to stand in that holy place, to be close to God in that burning bush, that consuming fire. And nothing happened to Moses. And how about Daniel, right? He was thrown in the fire pit in, in a consuming fire, but God came as an angel to protect him in that consuming fire. You see, God allows us to approach him even though he's a consuming fire. Aren't you appreciative and, and grateful for that? You might be thinking that's Moses and that is uh, Daniel. How about us? If you read in the book of Hebrews, let me go ahead and turn there, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 18 all the way to verse 29 you see something incredible i'm not going to read the whole thing but you go back and read in the first part in verse 18 it says you have not come to a mountain that can be touched that is burning with fire to darkness gloom and storm and it goes on where it says it refers back to the time of moses where Everybody was terrified about God being the consuming fire as they approached God in their worship and prayer. And they told Moses, get, get away, get, get me away from this fire because they were terrified. And God responded, that's a good behavior. And then it goes on in verse 22. And you notice in that paragraph, something changed because of Jesus. But you have come to Mount Zion to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. You have come to thousands and thousands of angels in joyful assembly. You notice something change? Because if you read further on, it talks about the blood of Christ. That now, yes, God is a consuming fire as you worship him, but you can begin to approach God with the thousands and thousands of joyful angels. And finally, in verse 28, it close out with this. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Wow, here we see that it mentions that God is a consuming fire, but God, because of Christ, his forgiveness, we can now approach like Moses, like Daniel, like people, the prophets of the Old Testament, we can approach God because God has granted us entrance to his kingdom, even though he's a consuming fire. He is not going to consume us because he loves us but he does want you to know that he's holy and powerful as you pray to god you need to remember two things about god being a consuming fire as you think about that image number one let's have that fear and reverence and respect for our god so that we can have a repentance heart as we pray to our God. And secondly, as you pray to God, the consuming fire, let us be grateful that even though he is that consuming fire, like, but like Moses, we can approach God, the burning bush, to talk with God in our prayer. We need to be so grateful and appreciative that our God allow us into his holy of holy places. So, thank you brothers, sisters, friends for another Coffee Moments with the Father focusing on prayer. 
using the images of God so that we can understand Him better as you pray. Bye.